All right, man, so I came across another crazy video, but before we get into the video, y'all know y'all got to do me a big favor now. If it be, do me a big, big favor. So like I said, I want to interact with y'all. So today's poll question, okay, I want to ask you guys. I don't even know what I want to ask you guys yet. I didn't think about this, okay? I, I should have thought about this before saying that. You know what? We're going to skip that. I might come back to it at the end of the video. But anyways, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, man. Also, I got a podcast channel in the link description box below. If you don't watch podcasts, you're going to watch this one, okay? Not saying that, why like, you're going to watch it. But no, I'm saying, like, you're going to want to watch this, okay? That did not make sense. But you're going to watch it, okay? So go ahead and link description box below. Subscribe. Check me out on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Also, I'm dropping my clothing brand soon, but I'm going to just... Y'all not ready for that one. But anyways, man, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm a trans woman. Woo! Hey guys, it's Fuckus. This week we're at Kennesaw State where Michael Knowles is giving a speech called Men Are Not Women and these protesters are not happy about it. Let's talk to them and see what's going on. Men are not women is the speech topic. Yeah. You disagree no, with that? That's not what it is. Is Men cannot be women. It's men are not women is the... Okay. Men are not women. You think that's true? Uh, I don't know. What brings you out here? So you had a protest, but you don't... Okay. Here today. It's okay. Protest. Um, there's a fellow coming in called uh, Michael Knowles. You think he should speak here tonight? No. What about his free speech and his right to do that? I don't think hate speech is free speech. Have you ever watched Michael Knowles' video? Bro, what? Free speech is free speech. Bro. Free. <laughs> bro. Oh my God. No. Are, are you going to the Michael Knowles thing later? Are you going to go to the speech itself or no? Being nice, you should. I don't think he's going to offend you as bad as you think he is. I think a lot of this is misinformation. You, know, you guys think he's a monster of a guy. He's actually really nice. I know him personally. He's actually a friend of mine. All right, 100. Are you protesting yeah, Michael Knowles? What makes you want to protest him? Uh, I don't know much about him, but I saw the line, men are not women, and all the, his, the tagline about, can you not? What? Can you not? What? I don't want to be on your show. Oh, okay, then don't. Okay. Yeah. Bro, no, what is going on right now? The, I'm, like, what? The man walked up to, like, Dude, did you not see a fat cameraman right there? Like, I'm, I'm just confused. I am confused. Did you not see a man like this holding the camera? Did you not see that at all? Uh, talking about, can you not? Can you not? Because you didn't know what you was finna say. How you don't know a man, how you don't really know much about a person, but you're gonna protest against that person. Make it make sense. And oh, by the way, men are not women, okay? As simple as that, bro. It's, it's a proven fact. It's, uh, since people wanna go by scientists, it's a proven fact. This, I swear, this this generation, I, I, I can't even say this generation. It's just society in general, bro. All right, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. I saw so what makes you, yeah, what makes you, what brings you out here today? Yeah, I just saw the subtitle about uh, propaganda from no, the left. Not encouraging engagement. With I understand. These I understand. Okay. He's an adult. Uh, thanks. I can speak for myself because I'm an adult. I'd well, tell her that. She's the one trying to cut you off. I did. I'm on the all the college like group meetings and stuff like that. And apparently, some Antifa people liked the uh, protest page that they started. So that got me a little like, I don't know if I want to wear a shirt <laughs> that point puts my target on my back. You know? Do you just about Antifa? No, God no. Antifa. What about the violence they do? They're so bad. Uh, I think that violence is a useful political tool. And if wielded in the proper fashion, that, I mean, collateral damage happens, that's a shame, and people need to be careful what they do. Do you think Michael Knowles should be allowed to speak here tonight? Of course he's allowed to speak here. It's, it's, it's everyone's right to do so. Do you disavow anyone who's, like, trying to shut him down and protest him and maybe get... I don't disavow anyone. Let me tell what you... What about, what like, if they get violent? Will you disavow political here's violence? What I think. Here's what I think. I don't. You don't I, disavow political violence? I don't think about it. I don't. Antifa is a label for anybody who's anti-fascist. So... I think it's Any a slippery slope, though. So if someone is in there and they got an Antifa was in there. I'm sorry. This ain't got nothing to do with the video. But buddy back here, just take off the jean jacket, bro. It's, it's, just take it off, man. Just take it off. I ain't gonna lie. Dad, you finna rip through that junk, boy. Just take that. Just take that thing off, cuz. And why do he have on an Amazon work vest? There's so much going on in this video, bro. It's so hard to even focus. All right, come on. And they got violent with Michael Knowles. Would you disavow that? Yeah. Because he's not a, a fascist. He's not like a hateful person. He's just maybe a little. He's up there talking. He, if he's not. He's saying, probably saying some hateful shit. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know much about the man, to be honest. So why protest him? What little I do know is pretty hateful, and I'm not. What do you know? 
we've already been over this. What, what, what have you watched of his that you're like, oh, this video is bad. He said this, this, and this. Like, tell me something you've watched and the evidence I, you have. So then how can you be out here? I saw the poster. That was enough for me. You saw the poster? Yeah. That was enough. Oh my gosh, bro. What? It, why are people this stupid? Literally, you literally saw one thing about a person and you just say, you know what? That is freaking hate. You know, I'm going to I'm a protest them. I am going to protest. I don't know much about the man, but I'm going to protest him. Don't even know his last name. Don't even know his first name, but I'm going to protest him. Bro, if you don't know, before you go protest somebody, please do your research. Because right now you're looking stupid, okay? You're looking beyond stupid. Because you don't know much about the man, but you're protesting man that you really don't know nothing about. That's like me going to, that's like, what, what's something I don't know about? Okay, let, let's say, that's like me going to a freaking soccer protest. Or something. I don't know. I don't know much about soccer, but I'm just there because I seen one thing that a soccer. So I don't know, bro. I'm just making up examples. But come on, bro. You can't go to a place that you barely know anything about and, and just dare to protest. You see one little thing and say, you know what? I'm going to protest against them. Like, oh, bro. Enough? That was enough. And now you're like okay with like political violence because you saw a poster? No, no, I've been okay with political violence before I knew who this guy was. That's wild, man. You shouldn't say that on camera. I'll say it on camera. <laughs> I'm okay with political violence. Yeah, we're here with Scott. Yeah, I'm, you're on the F team that's hosting Michael Knowles today. Yeah, yeah. We were, what, what made you want to bring him to campus? Um, we just think that the conversation is really necessary to be having on our campus. And I think that, you know, the more like disassociation we have, you know, the more like more people hate each other. And if we can just have that conversation, we can bring each other together, you know? Exactly. It seems like we're getting so polarized lately. And the media is obviously pushing us further and further apart. Like we need to be able to have conversations. 100%. I feel like this is the first time in recent history where it's just like been so polarized that you can't even talk to the other side. We're not talking to them. I actually uh, tried to post an- What the freak? Who is you? Who are you? to have conversations. Oh, I feel like this is the first time in recent history where it's just like been so polarized that you can't even talk to the other side. We're not talking to them. I actually uh, tried. If you don't get your smile and cheese and stuff on somewhere, but we don't even know your name. Get out of here. These are grown men. Grown men. We don't know you. Go. To post an invitation on um, Fireside, which is actually the school social media, and it actually got taken down 10 times. What did you post? Uh, it was basically just, hey, you guys, we're having an event with Michael Knowles on Monday at 7. Come out and have a good time. Good discussion. Great questions from the audience. Everyone come. It literally got to the point where the last time I said, all right, for the 11th time, guys, it'd be nice for you guys to come out. But took it down again. Wow, that's wild. Well, thank you for talking to me. Thank you guys for hosting. And thank you for making an effort for the conversation. That's what we need more of. Thanks, Thanks man. Good talking to you. If any place on earth should not be a, uh, a place where speech is squelched, it's a college campus. Uh, every idea, including dangerous ideas, should be addressed here, including calling out dangerous ideas such that people can see them for what they are. Do you see Michael Knowles as a dangerous person? Uh, I see him as inflammatory. Because I agree with you to a point, but I don't. Th I think it's gotten so out of hand that they're labeling. Like, I've been at protests; they call Ben Shapiro a Nazi. I've been at places where they just don't really make sense. They call black people a white supremacist. So it's like you think we've gotten kind of out of hand, and college campuses have gone so far left that we're really squelching ideas that aren't that controversial absolutely i mean if you start calling everybody nazis what are you gonna do when the actual nazis show up exactly hey you're very based thanks that's very nice we agree a lot that's great thank you for talking to me sure. glad to find some common ground hell yeah you know being trans is pretty socially acceptable you know it's you know as it should be but you know if you are a straight white guy you are silenced you know you're not allowed to voice your opinion it's interesting, almost like the oppressed gain privilege from their oppression, and it's kind of like the totem pole of oppression now, deciding who gets to speak, whose voice is worth what, and who gets shut down and who doesn't. Exactly. Is that, you think that's a problem in college campuses? Very much so. Everybody should have an equal voice. What brings you out here today? To support trans rights. Uh, Michael Knowles is giving his speech inside. Do you think he should be able to give it or not give it? Hey, y'all. We can't have interviews. No interviews? No interviews. No? no. Bro, who are you? What's up with these random females just thinking they just run stuff? Bro, get your green head self on somewhere, bro. We don't even know you. You just came out the gut. Guys, we're not having interviews. What? What is this, y'all boss? This your boss? No interviews. Eat my Doritos. Like, come on. I'm just confused on what is these different women coming out the cut, bro? Y'all just, y'all can't accept the truth. Y'all with this, we are here to protest against, um, uh, whatever trans rights or whatever i don't even know what y'all here to protest because it's, it's dumb 
It's dumb. I mean, uh, first of all, I lost interest from when the other guy said, oh, I don't even know much about him. I'm just here. <laughs> like, 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 bro. All right. The other person that was speaking said that they want their voice to be heard and they want to, you know? All right. Do you, do you not want to talk? Is that, is that is her answer or your answer? Yes, sir. Our enti this is our entire zone. Zone two. Zone two. Okay. So, Please. got it. Thank you. Move outside of the space. I've been very polite. If, you guys, if everyone's an adult here, no one's underage. If you don't want to talk, don't talk. It's very easy. Very, very nice. I think people should like, share, subscribe my channel. Oh yeah, I'm already subscribed. Oh yeah, hell yeah. I'm just, I'm being nice. I'm just trying to do my thing. It's gonna be over soon. It's gonna be over soon. Can y'all do this? You guys are, you, you guys are kind of being fascist right now. Like. I'm being very polite. Uh, this is not up for discussion. We are not holding interviews. No, I mean, I even read the space. That, that no means you you know, This is what the brown shirts did. This is what the brown shirts did. Maybe if you're, you're going to be mad about it, I would just maybe stand just, over there and I'm let me do my thing. You you me. I mean, you can't interview people. It just can't be I'm here. going up to adults. I'm going up to adults and saying, do you want to talk on camera? And they say yes. And I say, okay. And I ask them questions. You guys don't speak. Michael J. is... Wait, for other people, I don't get It's gay as F? Wow. The sign. Let's go, let's go, the sign doesn't get you, bro. We're asking I, I, I think you're being offensive to gay people. <laughs> I think it is. Why, why is being gay an insult? Why is being gay an insult? That's messed up. I'm the one standing up for you guys. Are we eventually going into the space or no? Because then I'm going to tell you guys. You, he don't even want to be there. Why are you here? You don't even want to be there for real. I'm asking you politely. Please just move over there. Like, why are you even here, bro? <laughs> bro, this video, guys, this video is literally all over the place, man. Can't be in here. Michael Knowles reserved this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it right back to you. Now you're in the Michael Knowles area. This is the Michael Knowles area. They reserved it. You, you can't be in here. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm very nice. I'm very nice. She was outside. She was saying I can't be in the green area because. We have and I'm doing the same thing back as a joke, and I know it doesn't make sense. No, it's just not funny. It makes sense. It's just not funny. I think it's funny. I guess we'll see. I'm part of College Libertarians. I'm a trans guy, and I'm kind of not really for all of what they're doing out here. Interesting. So, um, yeah, tell me about your perspective and how you came to this, you know, realization. Uh, well, I'm a trans medicalist, so I'm very, you know, trans is a medical thing, but I don't like it being used as a political tool. What is the reality of what transgenderism is? It's a uh, medical or mental condition, whatever you want to define that as, that your brain is physically different than it should be. You know, male and female brains have differences, and it's being one way or the other. Do you think when it comes to children transitioning, there should be a limit, an age limit, when a child is able to receive hormone therapy or transition surgery? Uh, no, I do not. I feel like if they have that medical diagnosis and this is who they are, then that's what needs to happen for them. Do no. we agree that no. kids should no. be allowed to be kids and when they get older to a certain age and they can make life-changing decisions? I don't agree with anything about that. I don't know. Why do you have to know? Why do you, why do you have the authority to make that decision? Because we're in charge of kids. Why? No, no, you don't have I'm kids. Not. Yeah, I just think when it comes to like... How she, well, first of all, how she go tell him that he don't got kids? First off, me personally, I said this in one of my videos before. Me personally, I don't, I feel like kids shouldn't have the right to choose their gender. I seen a video. It said, why have a gender reveal if all y'all gonna do is allow kids to choose it anyways? Why have a gender reveal? It doesn't even make sense. Why have it? And in my opinion, I just feel like kids shouldn't be allowed to choose what they want to be so young. Now, when they're out your house and they're grown, once you're 18... Once you're 18, excuse me. Once you're 18, you're basically legal. You know what I'm saying? You're legal. You're legal to a point where, I mean, if your parents was to kick you out, they won't go to jail for you. You feel me? That's, that's what I'm saying. But really, you're legal, legal at 21 when you could go ahead and slap that card on the day. Like, hey, give me a give me a fifth of hen dog. You know what I'm saying? That's when, like, you know what I'm saying? You, like, legal, legal. But when, basically what I'm saying is, like, once your kid move out your house, then that's okay. Like, okay, now they can make whatever decision they want to. I don't even agree with what D-Wade did to his son. You feel me? Because dude is so young. And at the end of the day, kids, they're going to make dumb decisions and regret it later on in life. It's a lot of dumb decisions that I done did, even in my teenage years. And I'm regretting until this day. But I can't dwell and look back on the past because I already did it. And y'all changing these kids' gender 
Don't even know if they really want to be a girl if they're a boy. Don't even really know if they want to be a boy if they're a girl. Don't really want to. They don't know that for They don't know that for real. They just go on with the flow saying, oh, I like this. I like that. I'm attracted to this guy. I'm attracted. Like, that doesn't mean that, okay, I'm going to turn myself into a girl. No. And y'all allowing kids to do this, you go really mess up their mind because you don't know what they truly, they don't know what they truly want. They don't, half of these kids haven't even had, like, excuse my French, but half of these kids haven't even had a taste of a little, a little cooter mama. Half of these kids haven't even had a taste of that. A lot of dudes that y'all change into girls, they haven't even had a taste of a little cooter mama. So they don't even know what that feels. They don't know what that is. They don't know none of that. And they just feel like, oh, I want to be a girl. Like, <laughs> please stop allowing these kids to make decisions for themselves. They don't even know decisions. They don't even know what decisions they make at half of the time. And y'all parents, y'all want to be buddy-buddy with y'all kids? No, y'all need to be parents for real, for real. Stop being buddy-buddy with your kids. Stop trying to be their best friend. You're not their best friend. You can be a friend. Me and my mom are best friends, but I know to respect my mama. And I know that if I was to change my gender at a young age to tell my mom that I wanted to be a girl, she would never fail for that. She would tell me, wait till I'm 18 and out her crib. Simple as that. Kids, especially someone eight, nine, ten years old, they don't really know what's best for themselves. They don't even know what they're really going through and feeling. Exactly. They're not even familiar with the world. So to start doing something so drastic as that, I think, is kind of like a red flag. That's maybe where we disagree. Yeah. Well, and part of the thing is, is children are making the decision with the help of uh, endocrinologists, uh, psychologists, uh, licensed social worker, whoever the person, people in there. They have a whole team of people consulting with them. They're not doing it because they want to. There's uh, studies that show that children can form a gender identity as young as three or four. Um, and I'm not an expert, so I can't really debate that. But just from my own point of view, I think it's, it's something that can... Bro, he don't know what he's talking about. I I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I think he just said he's at a protest and don't even know what he's protesting. Yeah, I'm done with him. Permanently affects someone's life. So I can see why it might be hard to say, uh, you know, to make those decisions for a child because they might not be certain they're children. Yeah. But I mean, I'm not going to judge people who do. I don't really agree. I think kids don't really know stuff. You don't think that your decisions as a parent can affect your child's future? I think they can, and that's why I wouldn't want to give my kid hormone therapy. Okay, but that's, that would have majorly affect their future. Kids don't know anything. Are you a pediatrician? Are you a child psychologist? Are you a teacher? Are you a parent? Are you responsible? You know kids, you are said. Are you responsible you for know kids. Are you responsible for any I children? feel a responsibility. But you aren't responsible. How many children are actually in your life? I have a niece. She's yeah, very nice. Right. And how often do you see her? Whenever I can. How often do you see her? Well, she's one. What does that have to do with anything? Why do he have to be a teacher? Why do he got to be a psychologist? Why do he got to be any of this to know the truth, to know what's real? Why he got to be any of this? To know that kids should not have the choice to, to determine what gender they want to be, especially when they're so young and don't know what's best for themselves. People like this is who, this is people I don't want around my kids. I don't want this type of woman around my kids. You're not going to tell my kid what they can be when they was born this way. My kid was born a boy. If you play with a Barbie doll and he like girl toys, by me being a father, I'm going to tell him like, hold on, son. You don't play with Barbie dolls. We don't, we don't play with Barbie dolls. You know, you are, you a man. You are. But I'm not going to just automatic. If my kid say, dad, I want to be a girl. I, no, we going to talk about that. But I'm going to tell him straight up. Nah, you ain't been no girl in my crib. I'm raising a man. I'm raising a son. Now, whatever decision you want to make outside of this household, that's what you do. But as for me and my household, <laughs> this is what's going to go. You feel me? Because you don't know what's best for yourself. You 10 years old telling me you want to be a girl. Boy, what's five times five? <laughs> like, for real. Like, I'm just being honest, man. Like, this lady, bro... She look like a daycare lady, and she need. If she is a daycare lady, she needs to lose her job. One, I saw her like four times. That's okay, a lot. Okay, that's. A and this girl in the back is killing me with this goddamn sign, bro. This is not hurting nobody feelings. Please put the sign down. It's not hurting nobody feelings. Why make a colorful sign that say Michael Michael J? No, I don't even know how to say his last name, but he is gay AF.
That's a lot. Ooh, once what a year, so four that, times so, in a whole year. So that means if a kid says, "I want to wear a dress and get hormone therapy," that we should just you be like, "Oh, you're." Decide that. So the kids should decide it then, so not adults. You so who should think, decide, kids or so adults? You think kids that are deaf not shouldn't get cochlear implants? Not the same. What? That's not Some people think it is. Shut up! You have no type of wisdom. You just sound like a straight fool. That even that those even, first of all that doesn't even tie into what we're talking about, woman. Of course, if my son is deaf or my kid is deaf, obviously. If I, so, you're saying if your kid is blind? Oh my gosh, guys, it's a bug. It's a bug. I just killed it. I gotta wash my hands now. Yeah, I gotta wash my hands. Um, but th that's like you saying, oh, um, yeah, if my kid is blind, you know, I'm not going to, I, I'm not going to go ahead and get them, um contacts or glasses or anything like it doesn't it doesn't add up it's not the same woman this some people think the world of death i'm sure some universe. people think it is the sign says the sign says teach acceptance not ignorance guys i'm trying to bridge the gap and talk to people and you're you're infringing on me people who identify as trans transitioning to another gender are not valid you're saying they're not really who they say they are you're saying that it's a mental illness like I don't want that on my campus. I don't like that. So I'm going to come and show my face. And I respect that. And you should protest things. I just, you know, I, I would watch a Michael Knowles video or two. I noticed you have a yeah. little, little Republican yeah. thing. Um, what, what, you kind of have to hide it. Why do you have to hide it? Because, I mean, next thing you know, I'll get a milkshake thrown at me for having specific political views. We're hitting head the bike lock. Yeah. Fell class. Who faces more backlash you think on college campuses? A trans person or a Trump supporter wearing a MAGA hat? Trump supporters. Yes, I will admit there's been some things that were violent towards Trump supporters, though I would also... A lot. Them, like, in general... I'm from California, a lot. I mean, like, yeah, but society... Like if I was in California and I walked around UCLA and I wore, like, a dress and a wig and makeup, no one would really give me a hard yeah, time. Okay. If you wear a MAGA hat, you're yeah, going to have you, some problems. You get more for it, but also, like, I can... You cannot be a Trump supporter. I think being a Trump supporter is being an asshole. You should get some for that. You know, I do sometimes feel... I feel like being a Biden supporter is being an a-hole. You should get, you should get a car thrown at you. Please, people, shut up and get some common sense. God dang, I swear, I swear, I'm 19 and I know more than y'all. This is ridiculous. And y'all, y'all in college, half of y'all look like y'all about your junior years, senior year in college. If I went to college, I'd be in my sophomore year, but I ain't go to college. You feel me? College ain't feel me. Uh, to, but well, uncomfortable voicing my opinion, especially in this kind of area, because it's the people who are supposed to be representing me, who are supposed to be on my side of everything, want to silence me. Which is very ironic because what they don't want is to be silenced or be marginalized, but they kind of do it themselves to the people who they think are oppressing them, which doesn't really make much sense. Exactly. And he, what's your closing statement to Michael Knowles? You tell him one thing directly. He'll probably watch this. Uh, was he on campus earlier today under the tent? Was that him? I didn't see him. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure that was him. Uh, if, if it was or if it wasn't, whoever I was talking to that was for him, uh, I told that person to go f himself, and I want to tell him again to go f himself. Do you know what Michael Knowles looks like? No. You ever seen a picture of him? No. You ever seen a video? Nothing. So you don't even know who this guy. If he went in that room and he was sitting in the chair, you wouldn't be able to point him out. Well, I'm assuming he's on the stage. So I tell whoever's on the stage to go f himself. Wow, that's wild. Well, you're very passionate, bro. Are you? <laughs> Yo, you. <laughs> what, what am I watching right now? What is this, bro? This man just said he don't even know what he looks like. He never seen a video. He never smelt the man. He don't know nothing about the man. But he's there telling the man to f his up. So that's good. Um, all right, just keep it one hundred. Don't attack anyone. I would just please don't do political violence. Please, let's not get, let's not take it there. I won't if it doesn't get that far. It's cold meets flex. What up, what up, what up? Hey, what's up? How are you? Glad to meet you guys. Trump ain't that bad. Trump's not that bad? Ain't that bad. Trump, ain't, Trump that bad. ain't that bad. That's the southern version of it. Ben, watch your stuff. Ben, go f yourself. Uh, what's something Ben Charlie said that you don't Kirk. like? Charlie Kirk. Yeah, no, Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk, go f yourself. Candace Owens? Yeah. Go f yourself. Did you go to the Michael Knowles speech? Whatever your name is, go f yourself. <laughs> You're like, bro, shut your ball hit it. <laughs> Yo, I'm off for it today. I'm not gonna lie. I'm off for it today, bro. I'm ready to just roast anybody. Talk about Candace. I want to go yourself. Like, bro, man, get out of here. I did go to the Michael Knowles speech. Did he say anything hateful and bigoted? 
Uh, nothing that I can really tell, no. I mean, we, I mean, hateful is obviously defined to be anything I don't like now, so... But no, no, he just, he just said obvious truths, and if, if you think that's hateful, I'm sorry, not sorry. Uh, what was the speech like inside? Did you say anything hateful? No. I, he was so nice and polite. I think, I think that the liberals out here would be shocked to learn that what he said was not at all, I mean, even remotely hateful. It was a great speech. Like, I, I hope that some people, you know, that were protesting, they eventually watch it. Um, you know, I don't really think a lot of them even realize who Michael Knowles is, what he actually says, other than what they've heard from Instagram posts. Of- or saw on a poster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to put the link to his full speech in the bio. Thank you for talking to me. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. We will see you at the next one. Fleck of Stocks. If you're Fleck of Stocks. Hey, man. Uh, I really appreciate this video. This was the funniest video ever. And y'all, I just got a test message from my mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I share everything with y'all. I'm not going to lie. But I just got a test message from my mom. And look, it say, I am so proud of you, baby. Thanks for making me happy. Look, I ate. <laughs> that it had nothing to do with whatever I just had to say, but um, I just had to share that with y'all. You know, that just made me smile. But um, anyways, man, I just want to say, y'all, this this video was hilarious. Okay, just saying how dumb people are, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's funny. It's funny seeing fools against other fools, and it's funny seeing about two percent of wisdom people, like people with wisdom. Um, but anyways, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot going on in this video. I seen a bug. My mama texted me. He got on like a safety vest for whatever reason. The other guy didn't even know who Michael Knowles was. Uh, the other girl, she just kept jumping in. Yeah, somebody else said it was a lot going on. Then some dude had his had his little sister freaking jean jacket on that was in the rip out. It was a lot going on, man. But the video was hilarious. Okay, so hit the like button, subscribe. I love each and every one of y'all, man. God bless, stay blessed. I love y'all. I just kissed the finger that I killed the bug with. Peace.